Today we're going to go over the use of Subaru of America's cutting template for the Subaru Outback Wilderness. The part number is SOA554002. This is a laminated template so that it provides much more durable product for the installers to use that can be used on multiple vehicles. This way you guys don't have to worry about printing up unique templates every time you install a trailer hitch. This will also guarantee that everything is to scale correctly so that there's no issues. The first thing you want to do is take the template, place it inside the fascia panel, and you want to line it up along the back edge of the fascia panel. You also want to line it up with these two feature, body features for the clips. That will help locate it across the car. I find it best to actually crease this a little bit. You can see there's a little bit of a crease forming here. That way it contours to the fascia panel a lot cleaner. Um, because it is more rigid, it doesn't want to sit down as cleanly as paper will. But by creasing it there, it will actually take this bend a lot cleaner. I also find it good to crease it a little bit, about a quarter of an inch in from the edge. That will allow it to sit down against the back surface a lot cleaner and get a tighter fit to give you proper positioning for the fascia panel. So the next step is we'll tape it in place. Remember to force the template on back down to the surface while you're doing this. That will allow for it to contour to the fascia panel better. You can also have somebody help you as you're doing this. Um, a second set of hands is not a bad thing, but it can be done without it. Again, keep in mind, you want this to follow the contours right up against the, the panel. You don't want it to sit away from it. Next step is using a marker. I prefer a silver or another bright color so that it's easier to see against the black. You can start tracing this out. I recommend holding it down as you're going so that you can make sure that you're following the contours correctly. Do not worry about the wing section. That actually has to stay on the vehicle. I take the mark so I can follow this cut line across. Once you've done that, you can remove the template. With the template removed, I use a straight edge to connect these dots. Now you're set to cut this panel out of the rear fascia so you can install the trailer hitch fascia panel. As you can see, the fascia panel has been cut, trying to stay within the lines, leaving a little bit of the line out there just so that um, you have enough material for the fascia panel to grab to. I find it helpful if you take the fascia panel, put it back on the vehicle. It gives it a little structure and rigidity when you're trying to uh, mark the, temp the holes for this. So what you do is you put the panel back into place so it's up against the vehicle nice and tight. Verify that the body lines are accurate and they're meeting the right places. Mark your holes. Verify that everything lines up, which it does. Remove the panel, and you will see that they are very close to the edge of the material. There is enough material there to hold them, though. These are going to be six millimeter holes. So use a six millimeter drill bit. <clears throat> it is recommended to use a stop on the, on the drill bit. That way you do not go too far into the vehicle. I'm using some rolled up tape on the drill bit in lieu of having actual uh, an actual drill bit stop. Now that I have the two holes drilled, I'll put the panel back into place, loosely securing it with 
the push pins. That way it just holds it up into place in the vehicle. Once you have the fascia panel installed on the uh, fascia again, I use the push pins to hold it in place and also some masking tape to help hold it so that you just have an extra set of hands essentially. Now, with that in place, you want to take your Sharpie or marker again, mark your holes underneath. And now you have the lower positions to drill. Please make sure that your beauty lines, so along this edge and this edge are lining up when you do this so that way you have the proper look when you're done. When we go to drill the holes for the underneath, again, I'm using a drill stop. In this case, I'm using some masking tape because I do not have a official drill stop. But this is an eight millimeter drill bit that you'll want to use for this. All right, now that you've got it, all your holes drilled, you put the panel back up into place, remove the tape leads so that it, it adheres to the fascia, and you're all set to go.